Hello guys, here is another short tutorial on how to create a controllable ZDEPS. Now in the default settings, sometimes Viri give, gives you a very flat color and uh, the distance uh, and the differentiation be between the front part and the back part is too small. So sometimes we want to have specific controls on how to distribute uh, the black and dark colors in ZDEPS. To do so, we want to use Maya Software Render to do that. So let's just go to Render and go to uh, sorry, go to Show and Show None, Show Nothing, and go to Show Show All, and then zoom out and grab everything. Oops, sorry, not Show All, Show None, and then Show Only Polygons because we only have polygon in the scene. It's easier to just select the polygons. Just grab every polygon. Now let's go to the render layers and create a new layer with all the polygon there and name it ZDEPS. Great. Now right click on ZDEPS and go to attribute, go to presets and change that to luminous depths. It's a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to move it move it here, presets, luminous depths, okay? Now what that does is actually apply a material, a surface shader material on every object in this render layer only and uh, apply something in the output channel. Now if you do a render, you can see something like this. We do have a little bit gradient there, so you see that the far side is a little bit dark, but I, we want to have more, right? What we can do is we can actually go to the material, go to the alt color, and then select old max. Right click, break connection. Now let's put in the original number, which is um, 10,000. If we do a render, it should look like the same as before, right? Uh, what, we, what you can do is you can make it smaller, for example, 5,000. So you can actually view the results in the viewport. You see that the far side is darker, right? 1,000, everything becomes completely dark. Uh, let's change that to 3,000. You see that? We have a very nice gradient now, which is around 3,000, 4,000. Let's do another render and see the result. See, we have a much better gradient than that, right? I think it should be smaller than 4, maybe 2,000. Let's see the result. How cool is that, right? So now you have full control of how to redistribute the bright and dark color based on your the scale of your scene. So you can always get the bad result. You can see you can actually view the depth effect directly in the scene, which is very cool, right? See how cool is that? Great. So now you have to be aware that because it's a new render layer, right? So in the default settings, if you have that new render layer, the master layer may not be rendered. So you have to turn the master layer back on again. That's one thing. Another thing is in the new render layer, uh, you have to choose the Maya software render. You have to redefine the render time and uh, the render name and the format. In this case, because we're using After Effects for compositing, uh, you can choose anything that is compatible with After Effects, for example, TIFF or JPEG. Really doesn't make that much difference because uh, in this case, we're actually squeezed all the color into 0 to 1 value, so there's no float value anyways. So JPEG or TIFF. Uh, if you can uh, choose either one of them and then you can just give it a folder z depths right and z depths with a slash there to create a new uh, new folder so in the image folder now it will be a new uh, folder called z depths and everything will be inside of it okay great so that's it make sure you have the right width and do a batch render then you will have a new z depths folder with all the ZDEPS sequence inside of it in the image folder. Okay, that's it.